Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. It's Nick and I'm really excited that you're here with me today in this video because we're going to be talking about one of the main reasons why I started this channel and that is mocktails. I'm going to introduce you to maybe a new one for you. We're going to talk about what it tastes like after sipping on it. We're going to make it into a drink and then most importantly I'm going to share with you where you can get the ingredients that way you can make it at home. So with that let's get into it. Friends, meet this drink called Pathfinder. I didn't know this, but apparently the Pathfinder is Seattle AF. Uh, 2021, it debuted at a bar here in Seattle, Washington called Life on Mars. Check out this voiceover while some super dope shots of this bottle roll by. This ingenious spirit is fermented from hemp and carefully refined by copper pot distillation. The base liquid is then blended with an alchemy of wormwood, angelica root, ginger, sage, juniper, saffron, orange peel, and wild-crafted Douglas fir, as well as natural terpenes, to yield a revolutionary spirit of both character and complexity. Cool. Let's do a little tasting to the lounge. So, let's try a sip. Now, I distinctly remember the first time that I had Pathfinder. I was still living in Tacoma. I went to a restaurant. On the menu, there were non-alcoholic options, what I call the usual suspects. I saw Athletic and all those guys. But I saw this drink that I had never seen before. And for better or for worse, I'm one of those guys that probably gets too excited about when he sees something new on the menu. It's led me to try some really, really bad things, but it's also led me to some really good things. And the Pathfinder is one of those. So that's the drink by itself, but let's make it into a cocktail to see what we can do with it. Let's go back to the bar. So now it's time to make the Pathfinder into a drink. When you buy a bottle of the Pathfinder, it comes with some recipes. And so I'm gonna keep it pretty simple for us today and be making one of these recipes, Finder's Old Fashioned. Side note, I did this on purpose because I think there are some mental barriers when it comes to making and drinking mocktails. I kind of liken it to learning a new language. For example, let's say you've spoken English your whole life, right? And then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, you find yourself having to speak Spanish. It's hard. Your life is now completely different. You can't go back to your old ways. I liken that to mocktails because again, we have this mental barrier that what is a mocktail without alcohol? Well, friends, I'm here to tell you and show you through these videos, there is a whole great wide world to mocktails. Okay, back to our normal programming. We're gonna need two ounces of the good stuff, the Pathfinder. We're gonna need some Demerara syrup, which just is, as I found out, basically really sugary sugar water. And we'll need some bitters, which the ones that I have here are actually known and then if you wanna be fancy, you can get an orange peel and you're gonna stick that into your glass there also. Those are all the ingredients that we need. Let's talk about what I'm calling the hardware that we'll need. Of course, we'll need an old fashioned glass, a jigger, I think it's called, a, I don't know, a big glass to mix the stuff in. And then if you're fancy and you're gonna do that orange peel, I got a potato peeler, but I think it's gonna work. And that's it. We're ready to make the finders old fashioned. What I've learned in my limited experience of bartending is to put the cheapest ingredients in first. So that means what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this sugary, sugary syrup or demerara syrup in here. And so remember, I'm gonna be using a half ounce here. I got my jigger, I'm gonna be putting in one half ounce, two ounces of this stuff, aromatic bitters. And we're just gonna mix that up. Peel off a little bit of orange peel because we're fancy. I'm gonna put the peel though right here, gonna do that around the top. I'm going to get an ice cube. I'm gonna pour that in there. Again, I'm fancy, so I'm putting my orange peel in there. And there you go, folks. The finder's old fashioned. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Man, that is super good. It makes me just feel fancy and need like a tweed jacket, cigar, and some tortoiseshell glasses or something like that. Boom. Man, I love YouTube. This is awesome. Non-alcoholic drinks are so great because they taste good, they look good when you do something like this, and you don't get hangovers. So I'm not out late at the bar, dehydrated the next afternoon when I wake up, right? No, with this, I'm still knocking some of these back because they taste so good. I'm also going on an early morning hike if, if I wanted to, of course, getting up before the sun, doing things that I need to do. 
So now that I, that I sold the HE double hockey stick out of this, where can you get it? Well, if you're here in Seattle, you have a couple different like local options. One, why not go to the bar itself, Life on Mars? Secondly, over on Finney Ridge, there's this non-alcoholic bottle shop called Cheeky and Dry. But if you're not in the Seattle area, there's some online options and I'll have some links in the description below. And that's it folks, this video, it's a wrap. First mocktail video from the NACPA in the books. I hope you learned a few things in this video. One, that I introduced you, Pathfinder. More importantly, I showed you you can elevate it into a traditional drink. And I also told you where to get the dang good stuff because now you gotta go try it for yourself. So if you got some value out of this video, check out some of my other videos over here. And of course, subscribe here and we'll see you next time. Thanks.